Uh, so I watch, uh, yeah, I'm watching another uh, of uh, this genre. That, you know, it's uh, one of those kind of movies. You know that, uh, uh, you know. But you know what? I just realized. You know, there were actually uh, mm, not exactly one type. It's just of those kind. Uh, and I think, uh, I think, really, um, you could, uh, one could decipher the type based on the title, possibly, you know, like, it, it's, it's pretty obvious, you know, like, the most corny, nonsensical, cliched, nonsense ones usually have a, a, an obvious keyword, you know. This, on the other hand, yeah, I mean, you know, could have been, I guess, you know, I mean, I guess you, you could have theoretically took took away the the uh, romantic bits, you know. It, um, and uh, I don't know, maybe maybe it could have been sort of something like um, a thing, uh, you know, very similarly titled uh, a movie. Yeah, uh, yes, man. I think it was called Yes, man. Uh, yeah, Jim Carrey. And uh, I don't think there was a romantic aspect of it. I might be forgetting. Uh, obviously, uh, the comedy there, I think, from what I remember, was sort of stronger, you know. But, um, yeah, I mean, the comedy here isn't absolutely amazing, but there is, there is something, there is something to it, I suppose, you know, like, you know, it's, it is absurd sometimes, you know, I mean, he says, you know, I showed you my monsters and everything, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, very Freudian in a way, I don't know, but, um, yeah, um, I mean, you know, y you could take away the comedy, and you'd have the drama, then, you know, it's, it's not too corny, so you could have an actual drama, you know, it's, it's not, per se, you know, one of those I stupid, I mean, uh, at the end, it did evolve a bit into on earth is this, you know, um, it was sort of at the beginning as well, obviously when it comes to um, things that um, go uh, viral for some reason, like uh, in this case, a, a book, you know, for some ab absurd reason, uh, um, and by the way, I actually uh, spent some time, I'm not sure if, uh, you know, how many other people did this, but I mean, I, I actually tried to read everything there was at the beginning there, uh, kind of nonsensical it was, but, uh, I don't know, I guess, yeah, it gives you sort of some, some sort of context, at least it wasn't full of, you know, Laura Mipsum and such. Um, so, um, yeah, and, um, but I still don't get, I mean, why, I mean, uh, you know, um, yeah, I, I don't quite get why, then again, I mean, I don't get uh, hype generally, honestly. Uh, but, you know, when it comes to, you know, the, the something that uh, at one point is uh, something like, you know, uh, obviously they repeated this motif about, you know, they're, they're linked to girl and whatnot. And it's not at another point, they said something about, you know, changing their lives and such, you know, you know people died at the end. I mean, uh, apparently there was only one person who was actually protesting, you know, I noticed, uh, I'm trying to see what the... Uh, Sign set though, and I couldn't quite make it up. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, I don't quite get to why they said, you know, change their lives, etc. Because one of the snippets that I read at the beginning said that it was, uh, um, it had, you know, uh, chapters about um, historic um, religious terrorism. So it's beyond me as to why uh, reading about such would change one's life, but yeah, you know. Um, so, um, well, obviously, it's, it's, it's not, not not too, too deep a movie or anything. It's not like, you know, it actually deals with such issues. It may, nearly skims them. But it's, it's still... Uh, it's, it's, it's still... It can work as a drama, I suppose. I mean, I've seen others that weren't comedic. And didn't have... Didn't, didn't overindulge in romantic nonsense. Like most, uh, you know, usual rom-coms do... Uh, which is why, you know, just absolutely hate them. I mean, I, it's not like uh, I really like this or anything. It was at best average as well. But, well, it depends on what average is, especially, you know, in uh, this, this genre, you know. Uh, the average is usually, you know, sort of, you know, below my expectations. I mean, obviously, I, I can expect, you know, something, as in, you know, cliches and such, which, you know, I mean, there were some cliches here. It's not like it was mm, not, I mean, obviously, you know, there's like a, a reveal at the end and everything. You know, like it is, I don't know why they they went with the, but um, it, it it still it still it still, still could function uh, as a drama of some sort. But yeah, I mean it's not exactly the absolute worst I've ever seen. Even if um, some people think it's um, 
appreciate. I mean, I've, I've seen worse in special elements in genre. There is way worse in terms of cliches, yeah. Or perhaps, you know, um, I guess maybe in comparison I should uh, like it better because uh, uh, I'm also watching uh, as, uh, as patterns, you know, uh, uh, watching uh, an unnecessarily uh, gory movie as well, uh, something else obviously, uh, um, you know, one of those things, like, you know, I, I just want to watch a horror movie, but so some people are like, oh, oh, oh god, yay, you know, uh, so, you know, we, we were trying comparison, this, this uh, had, uh, obviously none of that, but it also didn't have as much, um, uh, rom-com nonsense, shall we say, I don't think it did, really, um, so, I think that's, that's, that's really not, you know, in my opinion, it's at least, you know, it's, it's, it's just, you know, it's 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 possible at, at best, you know. Um, I, w I was going to say, I mean, um, they, I, I suppose they are better, but they it was still a reminiscent of um, both Sleepless in Seattle. I mean, you know, it's uh, I th I think they they were in a similar situation in terms of relationships there, so most young people and such, I think. Uh, one was a single mom as well, I'm not sure at all, but uh, watched it a long time ago now. And um, um, the other one uh, was, you know, the uh, earlier um, You've Got Mail, you know, which is obviously more uh, centered towards internet and everything. There. But uh, there was also a bookshop there, so, so uh, that's, uh, that's a similarity, clearly. Yeah, as much as, you know, I mean, those were obviously more highly regarded by others, but they they are still similar. I mean, yes, they might have been so better, I guess, but, I mean, ultimately, what's to really, um, just, just, they're just kind of similar, you know? I mean, ultimately, it's not exactly you know, identical, uh, everything that happened in all of them isn't identical, even if uh, it might be, you know, sort of, you know, same trodden path and such, you know, whatever uh, someone said. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I mean, they don't necessarily, you know, very much more prefer one or the other as such. Obviously, you've got mail is more of a historical thing because it, it, it deals with er earlier internet sort of thing, you know, but uh, otherwise, yeah, it's, it's similar because there's a bookshop and such. Uh, Sleepers in Seattle has a sort of a similar vibe as well, but yeah, otherwise, I mean, it's possible.